So I bought these mini cakes last night when we went to Terminal 21 Shopping Center in my first Bangkok video. I am going to try one of them now. It's the strawberry mousse cake. This is going to be a quick snack before we head out for the day and head out for breakfast. It's slightly tart. The mousse tasted of a very subtle strawberry flavor and the cake was moist. I give this like a 7 out of 10. It's worth a try and worth the price of 50 cents. It's edible. It's paper. <laughs> cardboard. It looks like candy. <laughs> So this morning, we're going to eat breakfast like the locals, albeit a bit later in the morning than locals who are rushing to get to work. It's about 8 a.m. now, so past rush hour, and we're heading to check out a few streets between Soy Sukhumvit 10 and 12, where there's supposed to be a bunch of breakfast street food vendors. Okay, so there are actually so many food stands here, it's hard to choose where to eat. So I'm gonna take a walk up and down the street to see what catches my eye. I really love how lively and vibrant it is here. This neighborhood is a bit hidden away from the hustle and bustle of the major roads and streets, but that means you get a really good sense of the local Thai culture. Side note, there are a lot of cats in this city. I don't think I've seen very many dogs, but I see cats everywhere, both strays and those with pet owners. All right, we found the first place we want to stop at. It's this grilled chicken skewer stall that looks really good. So we're going to try it. Each skewer is only 10 baht, which is about 28 cents and much cheaper than the place in Icon Siam's indoor night market. So it's a steal. And also it tastes really good. My uncle really loves it, as you can see. How's it? Wow, it's really good. Really good. We just bought a box lunch as well. And here is the rice box that we got. Thai basil stir fried pork over rice with a fried egg. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> and now my aunt wants some peanuts because she saw a bunch of people carrying them. Girls, you're not so late. Oh, 20 bucks. We got two orders of this, which I think is eggs and tasio over noodles, and then one order of this pork pho looking noodle soup. And then this place has area for you to sit down, which is why we chose it. Get three and one. Ah. Okay, so I was wrong. These are wontons with tasu, not eggs. Do you know what these wontons are? I think Thai got me though. Thai got me though. Thai got me though. This is my bowl of pork noodles. I have to get something non-spicy because my mouth is still inflamed, but I'm excited to try it. The noodle broth was pretty simple and light, so not a lot of flavor, but the noodles were just the right amount of chewiness and bounce, and I like the meatballs a lot. Our plan after breakfast was to, and you guessed it, hit up another mega shopping center. This time it'll be Siam Discovery, which is part of the same family of malls as Icon Siam that we went to yesterday. But we are too early. It opens at 10 and it's only 9 right now, so we're going to walk back to our hotel area and try to find a cafe to grab some coffee at and pass some time. It's 9.50 right now, so almost opening time, and we're right outside the mall, which is right next to the BTS SkyTrain, and there are also some really cool mushroom-shaped art installations here. Chelsea, my pack meal. 
He carries the carabine around everywhere so he can just hands free hold our bags. Kelsey wants some uh, special dipping dots. So I'm sorry, one favor, last side three favor. Oh, um, can we get the three sauce, three? What flavors are you getting? Get the Hokkaido milk strawberry, the chocolate banana, you like that one. And I'm thinking probably the chocolate mint. Chocolate's not good. <laughs> banana chocolate? It tastes like the uh, banana milk like from the Korean store. From H Mart. Yeah, I like the strawberry milk the best. Is it strawberry milk? Stra or was it like Hokkaido strawberry milk. Yeah. Stra the strawberry milk was the best flavor. Every mall here has so many food options, it's kind of overwhelming because I want to try everything, but you only have one stomach. Found this candy stand, and Chesley and I are obsessed. Halloween theme. They have so many different flavors, and some of them are mixed bag flavors. And all the flavors are here. They have strawberry, melon, grape, watermelon, light to lemon, mango steam, Yakult. We already picked out, what, 12 bags, six each, and then Chelsea wants another three bags because he can't decide between the flavors. And these are going to be souvenirs for friends and family. We're not just eating a bunch of candy ourselves. And if you want to check this place out, it's called Candy Crush. You can see them make it fresh in front of you, but don't be deceived by its moldable and kind of bendy texture because once it hardens, it's nothing like taffy. It tastes kind of like Nerds, according to Chesley, and it has this really tart, sour flavor with a bit of a powdery finish. And now we're heading right next door to Siam Paragon, the last of the trio of Siam shopping centers. We came down to level G to look at the food court because that is my favorite thing to do in these malls. It's too much food, too many options. Deciding to try this place, go on Pratnam chicken rice. It has a Michelin uh, guide recommendation. But I'm actually here to try the number 14, the braised pork, not the chicken. We did end up getting their famous signature Hainan chicken rice because my uncle wanted it. And this is my braised pork. I didn't want rice with it because I just want to nibble on something and I want to try a lot of different other foods. Um, 
I usually like my pork, braised pork with a little more fat in it. The flavor is okay, but nothing stands out. So I would not recommend this place, sadly. And then my aunt comes over with more food that she picked up, some chicken skewers. Look at that glaze. And then a crab fried rice. Next thing I want to try was this puff pastry place. They have a lot of savory and sweet puff pastries and I have my eye on the truffle curry flavor. Mm. Oh, it was good. So good. is really intrigued by their yuzu products and he wants to try the natural IU yuzu jelly for 90 baht which is about two dollars and fifty cents it looks more liquidy than jelly though I don't know. That's really good. Yeah, it's bad. Wow. Is it sour? Not too sour. And now we are gonna try a Thai crepe. Actually, do you know what it is? I think it's crepe co with coconut yeah. and egg yolk on top. But overall, it's sweet. I don't taste any saltiness. Okay. Very chewy, but yeah, I give probably like a like a five out of ten. Sure, got a lot of juice. Corn milk. These are the cutest, most elaborate kits I've ever seen. Oh my god, especially this one. And now we're at a Jian Bing place that serves Thai inspired Chinese crepes. Chesley ordered the spicy craw crab. Pra pra moo wrap. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I'll be honest, this is not what I was expecting. This Jian Bing, at least the ones I've had in Shanghai, are really crispy. But this one is more of a soft crepe exterior, so I'm curious how it will taste. This doesn't look like the photos at all, so I feel very disappointed. It looks like there's some fried, um, fried dough bits in there, and then some of that meat mixture, and then this, and then lettuce. I don't know. Doesn't look very appetizing. <laughs> but we'll see. So this is nothing like what we ordered. We think this one was vegetarian actually. They might have, I don't know if they put like the wrong filling inside. It is really, really spicy. I'll give them that. But uh, yeah, I would not recommend this. This is fake jam bean. So 
So we ended up getting a bunch of souvenirs from for friends at this signature Thai tea place. Bought a bunch of really heavy tin Thai tea boxes that I'm worried about bringing in our suitcase because it might make it too heavy. Thai tea is really sweet even though I got less sweet at 70% sweetness. I cannot imagine what 100% sweetness would taste like. I think it would be sugar overload. But I think 70% even below that, maybe 50% would be really good. This man looks ridiculous. <laughs> he just keeps adding more and more facts. And now we are about to get our mani petties. I think I'm gonna get this pink color. I got these lilac magnetic gel nails. By now I am stuffed but I saw this dessert vendor called Sasas and it looks like they have stuffed sweet buns with different flavors and it looks so good. I have to try one. Which one should I get? Oreo or matcha? I ended up getting the matcha flavor to try later. Chesley wants to get me a piggy bobblehead. Uh, They're pretty like cute. The sweet one or the lovely one? Right. <laughs> there you go. I like the pink one. It says happy pig. Oh, which one did I get? The blue one. Sweet pig. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Stop killing it. I wish I had a body inside though, it's just a floating head. <laughs> I wasn't hungry, but I smelled the curry walking by this place in the food court and it looks so tasty. You get to select your sides and a curry, plus there was a line so it must be good. We're going to give it a try. So we got a three item rice bowl. I wanted some vegetables, so I got the veg mixed vegetables. I think these are either cucumbers or zucchinis with egg. And then uh, some lap churn or Chinese sausage with... I'm not sure what this is. It might be like, uh, I don't know, fish cake or pork cake mixture. And then some sort of curry. It looks like there's pumpkin in it. pumpkin and possibly chicken. My aunt came across this eyeglasses place and she was like, I need a new pair of glasses because I can't see or read anything. So she's getting a pair of reading glasses. Her prescription can also be taken here and they said that the lens We'll be ready in 20 minutes. And this is the final product. <laughs> she can now see when she reads. We just arrived at the King Para Mahanakon Tower. We bought evening tickets because we wanted to catch the city view at sunset and twilight from the tallest point in Bangkok. 
this skyscraper has 78 stories and looms over the city as a landmark at a height of 314 meters, which is about 1,030 feet. There is an observation deck at the top, which is where we're heading to. I think we made it just in the nick of time for sunset, but it was pretty foggy today which meant we don't get to see the clearest view of the city. But despite that, it's still so magical and such a cool experience. The vibes are immaculate here. I love how they have a DJ that's playing awesome music. There's a lot of great seating areas. There's even a bar where you can order cocktails and drinks. And there's also an, like another viewing area uh, that's like kind of the staircase where you can go even higher. And of course there is this uh, glass floor area where you can see right below you. And if you're scared of heights like me, it can be a pretty thrilling photo opportunity, but we had to do it of course. Overall, I thought this was a really fun and cool experience, especially towards the evening. I highly recommend checking it out and it was definitely worth a visit. And then when you're ready to leave, you can take a short elevator ride down to the main elevator or you can walk down this pretty spiraled staircase. Our last stop for tonight is Asia Teak, which is like a pier right by the riverfront. It's very much catered towards tourists with food vendors, restaurants, and attractions like the Ferris wheel. There's also shopping, but don't buy your souvenirs here because everything is marked up and super pricey. Trust me. After grabbing dinner at a random restaurant, we saw this haunted house and it looks so spooky and fun. The exterior is all decked out with some pretty school, cool stuff like the tarantula, some cool mood lighting, and you get to sit in these floating carriages and it looks like you just ride along a track. So we're going to check it out.
haunted house was so embarrassingly bad. It was actually kind of funny. It was kind of entertaining because the whole ride became this roast fest between me and Chesley. We're like, we can see the strings on each of the prop. Each of the prop is in the same spot. We know that the door, it's dark because they don't have any decorations. This is the matcha bread bun with filling that I got yesterday. Didn't get to eat it yesterday because there was too much food and I was already full. So I brought it back to the hotel. I'm gonna try it to this morning. But you're actually supposed to microwave it for 30 seconds before consuming, but there's no microwave in our hotel room. So just gonna eat it as is. Yep, I'm definitely not doing it justice because the bread is kind of dry and hard without being able to microwave it. But it's still pretty good. It's like sweet and let me try the filling. And there's just cho white chocolate piece on top. That's really sweet. Mmm. Mm-hmm. The filling's really good. It's like slightly bitter not too sweet it really does taste strongly of matcha tea which i love it doesn't taste like that artificial stuff it tastes like real matcha tea i'm sure if this was slightly warm and soft it would be like a 9 out of 10. right now it's like a it's like a 7 out of 10. So today is our last morning in Bangkok. We're actually flying out to Phuket at 11 a.m. That's when our flight is. We're going with Air Asia, um, and we're about to head out and check out of our hotel. Curious what flying domestic in Thailand is going to be like. And I'm also very excited to be in the south and experience island life yes or domestic domestic oh. mm -hmm. i think they have some luckily chesley has a priority pass through his chase sapphire reserve travel card and that means we get to get into uh, lounges at the airport so he's getting checking in my aunt and uncle first at the miracle lounge and it looks like they have really good food and then we're gonna head over to another lounge where he and I will be uh, chilling until our flight takes off Chelsea saw that McDonald's here has a special corn flavored and he wants to try it, so he just bought one. The moment of truth. Okay, okay. Oh, it's so tiny. It looks crispy. Oh, oh, wow, it all came out. <laughs> it looks really creamy. Ooh, good. Oh. It's actually good? Oh. A lot better than I expected. So it's sweet corn. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I like it. 40 pass member gets to get into the pool for free. Mm -hmm. It is so beautiful in here. Crusade. It's congee, 
A couple of appetizers in these little glass jars, which are really cute. I think that's chopped up ham salad with mayo and tomato. This one is a little uh, like finger sausage cut into an octopus shape with some sort of sauce in there. And then this is a seaweed salad. And I got a ham and a cheese uh, mini sandwich as well as the guava juice, which is actually really, really good. It's really fresh and sour.